Simply stated, Jesus came to the earth to make a way for people to have a right relationship with God. Without his coming, sinful men would not be able to make peace or have a connection with Holy God because of our sinful nature. Jesus came to pay for our sins, to pay the penalty for our sins and, and offer us forgiveness and offer us security and, a, and thus a way of giving us an opportunity and even a possibility of being made right with God. Being made right with God brings us inner peace. In fact, Jesus speaks of this peace in this way. He says, the peace I leave with you, not peace as the world gives. It's a peace that the world doesn't give so the world can't take away. In Matthew 11, Jesus says this, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He spoke these words against the backdrop of just having performed or pronounced woes on a couple of cities, because even though that he had given them much teaching, much of his time, much of his energy, and, and even miracles, they refused the offer to be made right to, with God. And, and so Jesus said, this. He said, if Sodom and Gomorrah were, would have been given these opportunities, they would have taken it. Now, today, I want you to, with all of that in our background, I want you to think about our nation today. God has offered us uncountable opportunities, uncountable blessings. He has, he has given us every opportunity we can imagine to be made right with him. But it seems, or appears from all evidence, that we have either ignored his invitation or we have dismissed him from our culture altogether. I mean, you know that because you look across our land, particularly today, and we see there is no peace in this land. And it is into just such a melee like this that we hear the words of Jesus saying, Come to me. This is his invitation for every person under the sound of my voice. Come to me. I can be trusted. Come to me. I love you much. Come to me. I died in your place. Come to me. This is Jesus' invitation to mankind. But it also gets more specific as you walk through the verse. He says, Come to me, all ye, all you, everyone who labors and is heavy laden. Most of mankind generally work hard to do their best. I mean, it's a work or a labor to be good because we are heavy laden with the nature of humanity that always leads us towards sin. Now, some people will say that the heart of mankind is basically good, but the Bible says in Jeremiah 17, the heart is deceitful above all things and is desperately sick. While that doesn't seem very complimentary, complimentary, an honest review of humanity reveals that it's very true. And because of this, we find ourselves laboring and being overwhelmed with trying to leave our problems behind us. So Jesus says, come to me. For the person who is indeed overwhelmed by the struggle of this life and comes to Jesus, he promises this, I will give you rest. What a promise. What a help. What an encouraging word. Coming to Christ is like unloading the burden which overwhelms you on someone else. And at the same time, it is embracing the peace that you can never imagine. This is the way to begin each and every day. Come to him in prayer. Listen for his voice and trust his heart. At the end of our services, many times we sing songs that are called inv invitation songs that invite uh, you to respond to Jesus. One of the ones that's most apropos today as I end is the one that says, 
Jesus is tenderly calling thee home, calling today. He has, he does, and he is calling for you. Come to me. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word and how you reach out to us and for us to draw us to yourself. Help us respond to your voice. Today, heal our hearts and heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.